Hello and welcome to the shack. In this video, I will discuss some cheap yet effective ways to protect yourself from danger in the lab. The truth is, sooner or later, something is going to go horribly wrong, and it is going to occur when you are least prepared to handle it. Whether it be a spill, a fire, an explosion, broken glass, third degree burn, or something of that nature, having the proper safety equipment will save you from what otherwise could be your last experiment. Let's start with personal protective equipment, or PPE. These are the absolute necessities. Without them, you're going to get hurt. You need to make sure that you're wearing chemical resistant splash goggles, not pool goggles or goggles for debris. Next are the gloves. The most common type of gloves are latex, but those are coated in an annoying powder that takes a while to wash off. Plus, I'm allergic to latex. So I prefer vinyl and nitrile gloves. In my opinion, nitrile gloves are better, but that's just me. Anyway, whatever gloves you get, buy the largest pack because it will have the cheapest unit price and trust me, you'll go through a lot of gloves. I would also suggest getting some kind of heat resistant gloves or oven mitts. You should also be wearing long pants and a lab coat. I got my lab coat from Home Science Tools for about 20 bucks. A face shield is also a useful item, but not entirely necessary. It really becomes useful when you get into pyrotechnics. And to conclude the PPE, we have the respirator. This is an absolute necessity if you do not have a fume hood. Even if you do your experiment outside with the fan blowing, you will still end up inhaling a small amount of whatever toxic gas you are working with. Make sure your respirator is rated for both acid vapors and organic vapors. If it is rated for very small molecules, like hydrogen chloride and hydrogen fluoride, then it is a very good respirator. Now, you should be ready to do some explaining, because with all the stuff you've got on, people are going to start asking questions. Next we have what I call STS, YBW, YDN, TW, YPPEB, YT, YTC, or stuff that saves your butt when you decide not to wear your personal protective equipment because you think you're too cool. This includes a fan, paper towels, and newspaper to cover your workstation. It's also a good idea to keep neutralizing solutions nearby. Baking soda in water for acid spills and vinegar for base spills. I would recommend about a gallon of each. You should probably go ahead and buy that 12 pound bag of baking soda. You'd be surprised how often you use this stuff. I also keep a large bucket full of water nearby to drench myself off if I spill something. And of course, a fire extinguisher for when you do something stupid. Alright, you guys just sat through a boring safety video, and since I mentioned the drench bucket, I know what you guys want to see. So without further ado, here is my complete and utter humiliation. Before I begin, I'd like to once again emphasize the importance of proper lab attire, such as closed-toed shoes, long pants, a lab coat, and of course, goggles. Oh, do I really want to do this? I guess. Well, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.